6.55 timeout. Lures with 12.5 to go down by one. These are the two biggest free throws she's taken all night, all the, year. Made the first one, so it's 57 55. Made the second free throw. Captain Kanapke will take it out of bounds. Here comes Emma Wolf. We're inside 10 seconds. Emma takes a pick from Sarah Braun. Close Emma or right Kanapke is going to shoot it. Emma puts it up. It's Round in, Kenny. It. It's in. We're Unbelievable. Gonna go We're gonna go we got overtime. overtime. We are going to overtime. And I just, I would not have believed that earlier, but this is fantastic. Again, no quit in the Lady Knights. They could have pulled it up their 10 a long time ago, but they're fighting right here to the end. Play action throw over the right side. It's hit through the middle, driving towards the end zone. Did he get it? Yes. Touchdown. The Bishop Winger Saints. I would say at this point, Joe, shocking the Carroll Chargers. Here's a snap. He looks to throw. Throws over the middle, dumps it in. Does he catch it? Is yes. the question. Touchdown, Saints. A little low, but Berghoff went down and cradled his arms under the ball. There's a snap. Blitz coming. Give to Amon Clark. Find some room. Through the middle. Dashes in. He's got a touchdown. 44 to 14. The Bishop Dwinger Saints have really made a statement tonight against this 6A Carroll Charger team. And what's neat is even after that, that hard loss to Lures, uh, we're in charge of our own destiny. So, you know, that's the motivation in itself. You do not want to kick this to Austin Mack. And here's the kick to Mack. Uh, <laughs> taking it to 15. He's at the 20, going to the left side, the 25, the 30. Finds it. See it through the middle. He's breaking free. He's got one man to beat, and he's got him. Far side of the field. He's streaking down the field. This is going to be a Bishop Lewis touchdown by Austin Mack. How many times have we seen it, Sean? It's deja vu that, all over again. That's his 20th touchdown this year. They fake the jet sweep. He's looking to throw. Goes deep. Left side. He's got a man. Goes up for it. It is caught. Deshaun Bustle with a touchdown. No man in motion coming to the right. Take it to him. Give it to Charlton. Bounces it out left. Gets out of two blocks. Goes back through the middle. Looks like he's got enough for a first down. Stiff arms. Right side. Diving for the end zone, touchdown. He's looking to throw. Here's a quick screen out to the left. That's Dippold with the carry. Number 23 gets into the end zone. Yes, ah. touchdown, number 23. This is a new uh, record for Bishop Lewis combined points. Senior night, always a special night at any high school you go to. But when you do games like Bob and I and watch these girls three or four years play, uh, and you know him by first name. Madison Reem, the 5'6 senior. Uh, Kaya Andrews, 5'9 senior. And also Rose Tipman. So uh, three seniors on the Bishop Dwenger team. Taya bumped in 43 against the Wayne Generals in a game. Unfortunately, we did not broadcast. And anyone that's followed Bishop Dwenger sports over the years, girls basketball, Kenny, they've had an awful lot of great basketball players and to uh, beat them break the record in the most points in one game is very, very impressive. J.J. Foster and Ray Walker can uh, run with anybody in the entire state. Foster jacks up a three from downtown, put it up and in. Looks Got like it. this is Bishop Lure's night, Kenny. Foster drives inside, ooh, collapse bomb. Oh, nice Five pass. Cook, covering the baseline. Cook never stopped. Foster back to right. This is his Number night. J.J. Foster. Rain in three. That's his fourth three. Foster nice pass. Nice J.J. Foster is making something happen every time he has the ball. Last Saturday versus Blackhawkers, we started out slow. That's why we ended up losing the end of the game. So today we wanted to change things out, and that's what happened. We got the win. On lower side, they need some big plays out of Austin Mack tonight. Wildcat, Austin Mack, fakes left, goes right, finds a seam, dashes down in there, touchdown. Wow. And Austin Mack goes back to get it at the goal line. He's at the 5, the 10, finds a seam of the 15, the 20, the 25, the 30, breaks it out to the right. It is a foot race. He's at the 50, the 45, the 40, the 35, the 30. He turned it on. off to the races. Touchdown, Austin Mack, unbelievable. Here's a snap, he's looking to throw. Here's it out, right side seam, he's got the, he's got Mack, it's caught, the 40, oh the 30, the 20, they can't catch him, touchdown Austin Mack. Jack Johnson put that in the money, Sean. That he did. And it stuns the crowd again. Johnson from the shotgun, get to the tailback, that's Mack looking for a seam, he's got wow. it, into the end zone, touchdown, Austin Mack. 
I know earlier Mark said that uh, number one, Austin Mack, wanted to put this team on his back. Don't get him mad. They give the Mack around the left side, looking for a seam. He's found the seam. Oh He's my. got the room. He's going to dash in for a Bishop Lewis score. Are you kidding me? Unbelievable. This was an epic battle that went down to the very last seconds of the contest, and what a contest it was. This, for all intents and purposes, is for the conference championship here. One receiver, Federfield to the left, fakes it. Looking deep, looking to the end zone, to Norton. Flag on the play, and Norton has the ball. That's a touchdown for the Bishop Royer Saints. What a dive by Norton in the corner of the end zone. He laid out. That is one of the most unbelievable catches I think we've ever seen. Certainly since Tyler Eifert gives the Saints the lead. I can't believe what I just saw there. Looking left is Steven. He throws it up there and it is intercepted by Obertfell. Another interception. He's running down the sideline. I don't know if anybody's going to get him, and they finally do push him out of bounds. And there's pure disbelief on that Snyder sideline. And that will seal it. Your 2015 SAC champions are the Bishop Dwyer Saints. Zach, take, take us back to that catch. Uh, well, you know, I was on the sideline. I told Coach I wanted a shot. He gave me a play, go to the corner. I told Blake, throw it where only I could get it. He did, and uh, I just made the play. And you know it's going to be in Emma's hands the last uh, 15 seconds. Emma Wolf goes to the right side, takes the pick, and the Kayla, Kayla three from straight away. She made it. Bang! Kayla Kanapke. That might be the ball game. Andrews down the floor to the right side. Rivers inside, collapses a three. No good to the right side. What a shot. Oh! No shot, no good. Rebound run. What a shot by Kayla Kanapke. That is going to be one short to the Bishop Lewis Knight. Come away with a what a game! Wild finish, of Kayla Kanapke. Range of three with about nine seconds to go. Coach Pixley drew up the play. He knew they were going to jump Emma when I came up and set the screen. So Emma just had a phenomenal pass. Honestly, I don't really know how she got me the ball. They were double teaming it so hard, but it was so exciting. It kind of threw back to um, the Northrop game, and we were all surrounding Emma. So it felt good to have that team unity around me, and it felt good to beat Banger, of course. Couldn't been a better game, Kenny. What a game! Sweet pass, 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 pass. And he's got some trouble. Fumble. The ball is on the ground. It's picked up. Helen Burns, Burns has, has it. it 40. And the Bishop Dwinger Saints defense comes up big. Here's an option. Quarterback dancing around the left. That is a pitch. On and the, the ball is on, on the ground. ground. And it looks like Winger may have recovered. Proud to announce the Bishop Dwinger Saints regional champions 2015 with a great victory over the Rockies of Plymouth. 8-0. Great defensive performance for this Bishop Dwinger Saints team and their staff. Man with motion coming to the right side. Quarterback. Sweet pass. Halfback pass. Going for it on the left side. He's got coverage. And it's going to be picked off. Easy pickings for Burns. He's running down the sidelines at 25 to 30. Pass the 40 and taken out of bounds. These kids have been solid all year. Carmola from the shotgun, rolls to his left, looks to throw, looks to throw, fires over the flats, intercepted. intercepted. I think it's Effinger. Proud to announce the Bishop Dwinger Saints win. Saints win, Saints win, 41 to 7. The Bishop Dwinger Saints have knocked off the St. Joe Indians and are going to Lucas Oil. The Trojans want to run the ball and they want to run it right down your throat. So the Saints better have put on their big boy pants today, Sean, because it's going to be a dog fight. Awaiting the snap. Here it is. Give to Amon Clark. He dances through the middle. He's got the first time. He's going in. The 10, the 5. Touchdown, Amon Clark. Here's a snap. Pacioli decides to keep it left side looking for that room. He's in. Touchdown. Quarterback keeper left side. Blake Pacioli, number 15, on the score. Ladies and gentlemen, proud to announce the 4A state champions. Indiana High School football, the Bishop Dwinger Saints. Saints win, Saints win. God Almighty, the Bishop Dwinger Saints are your 4A state champions 2015. All the hard work that we put in during the summer, all the hard work that we put in during the season, we just wanted to come out and do it for coach, and we were able to do that. And I'm, I'm so proud of these guys. I wouldn't be able to do it without them. I'm very thankful for, uh, for this team. This truly is a team. They love one another. They worked really hard for it, and uh, love them all. You know, you talk about Chris Schwarzkopf, you talk about Fred Tone, you talk about these players. There's no superstars. There's no D1 talent. These kids just came together and played as a team all season long. They believed in one another. They believed in their coach, Ernie Bodrab, and they just fought, Sean, and I'm glad to be a part of it.